Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. I'm trying this new camera thing to see if you guys will like it. But basically what we will be doing in this uh, episode is just have two arrays and then compare the, compare the numbers in both arrays and add it into a separate third array. So I did a similar um, video like this for Python and people liked it so I thought I'll do the same thing for Swift. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is actually create our two arrays. So I'm going to call the first one array 1. And I'm going to simply give it 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as values. I'm going to call that second array, array 2. And this time I will say 1, 2, 3, and this time I'll say 7, 8, uh, sorry, 7, yeah, 7, 8. And now we're going to be creating a third array. So if you've seen the Python video and I will link it, you'll realize that I'm doing it exactly the same way I did it in Python. It's not the only way, but I just, I like it. It's it's the most useful and the most simple to explain how arrays work and this one we're actually going to leave it as an empty array and this is how you declare an empty array in Swift you simply give it what it will be carrying and then you just leave it empty but you have to specify what it will actually be carrying you can put it as any string um, or boot or, or int which in our case that's what I'm doing anyway let's go ahead and create a for loop and I'll say for number in array 1 and basically what we're doing is we're going to go over array 1 so for each of those numbers we want to check if array 2 dot contains that number so for every number existing in this array we want to check if this array also has this number contains that number if it does we want to check if we've already added it to array 3. So what we're going to do is that we're going to say, we're going to write another if statement and we're going to say if array 3 dot contains and see what I'm calling here. If array 3 contains number, so if we already added it, because we don't want to duplicate, so let's say for example there was another 4 here, um, there was like two 4s here, two 4s there, we don't want to add them twice, we just want to add them once. So that's what I'm doing. I'm saying if array 3 that contains number, what we want to do is we're simply going to say print number already added. Else, so if it was not added, we want to add it. We're going to say array 3 dot append and we want to add that number. And after that, all we want to do is come all the way at the end and now we're going to say numbers existing in both arrays and we're just going to give it an equal sign and then I'm just going to say array 3. Let's go ahead and print this and see what will actually happen and if I go ahead and run it as you can see it says numbers existing in both arrays are 1 2 3 so as you can see the only similarities in both of them are 1 2 3. Let's go ahead and add another 3 and I'm going to run it and we should also only add it once and that's the purpose of this if statement it checks if we already added it otherwise it wouldn't add it let's go ahead and play some more so let's go ahead and put like an 8 and here we have an 8 and let's see 8 2 3 so there you go that's how you compare two different arrays and again you can do so much more than just adding it into a third array or printing it so there you go have a good day and see you later